and sort of we heard the Punjab police is just saying that Amrit Pal Singh had to surrender. He was forced to surrender because the Punjab police left him no other option. So if you could take us through what really happened from last night to now when Amrit Pal Singh went to the Gurudwara to when he surrendered and under what conditions. Uh, Priyanshi, the, the latest update is that Amrit Pal uh, uh, will land in Dibrugarh. Punjab police is there and land in Dibrugarh around uh, 11.30 and then he'll be taken to Dibrugarh jail. Now coming back to your question, uh, uh, Priyanshi, Amrit Pal reached Moga two days back according to my uh, top sources and Punjab police uh, got this intel and uh, late last night they have cordoned uh, whole uh, Rode village and as you've been telling about uh, the significance of Rode village, uh, birthplace of uh, 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 Bhindra Wale. So he was there in that Gurudwara and uh, uh, Punjab police was in touch uh, with Jasbir Singh Rode, uh, the Granthi of Gurudwara and uh, Jasbir confirmed his presence in the Gurudwara and uh, uh, then Amrit Pal, uh, uh, Amrit Pal also, also told that uh, Punjab police has surrounded uh, the Gurudwara and he had no other option than to surrender before Punjab police and Punjab police has clearly said that uh, there were clear instructions from uh, Chief Minister himself that uh, Punjab police will not enter Gurudwara in any circumstances and then in the morning around 6.30 uh, Amrit Pal uh, addressed a small gathering in the Gurudwara and then he um, uh, surrendered and then arrested by Punjab police. So according to Punjab police, Amrit Pal had no other option than to surrender because they uh, had decided not to enter the Gurudwara and uh, uh, for, the, for the sanctity sake. Uh, now the, 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 the most important point we have to understand Priyanshi, it's a 35 day long operation. Hmm. On uh, 24th of February, when Amrit Pal stormed Ajnala police station, uh, uh, Ajnala police station uh, to get his close associate freed, uh, Lapreet Tufan, that was a time when he uh, came to the lamb light and we had that visuals. One thing which is very important and when one thing is very common that on that day also, on 24th of February also, Amrit Pal used Guru Granth Sahib. To, for as his shield and after th after uh, almost uh, uh, 50 days uh, of that incident to today when he was arrested he also he used gurudwara as the same so he used to uh, use religion as his shield and uh, one thing which is very important and very significant that on 24th of February also Punjab police refrained. Uh, they did not uh, retaliate when uh, uh, these supporters of Amrit Pal Storm Police Station because uh, they had Palki Sahib, Guru, uh, Guru Granth Sahib with them and we all know that uh, that Bhatinda Scarlage uh, in Akali government caused that they are still out of the power. So uh, they knew. So that is to maintain the sanctity. Uh, they did not enter the Gurudwara and uh, Amrit Pal had no other option than to surrender. There are three important points I would like to highlight, Priyanshi. Number one, Amritpal was at large. He was running He uh, from uh, Jalandhar on 18th. He was Jalandhar, then Lodhiana. Then he reached uh, Kurukshetra in Haryana. He was there for a night and then he reached Delhi. He spent two nights in uh, Delhi and then he went to Pilibhit, UP, then to Uttarakhand and then again uh, to Punjab. And, and on 28th of uh, March, he was, Punjab police was very close to him and close to him and uh, some, he, he somehow escaped, left his car, uh, car and fled through fields. Since then, he was hiding in Punjab only. And from his hideout, he uh, issued two videos uh, appealing Akal Tak, the highest religious body of Sikhs to call for Sarbat Khalsa. Sarbat Khalsa is the biggest uh, and the most important meeting of uh, uh, Sikh religious uh, leaders and he said that on, uh, on the occasion of Baisakhi, this Sarbat Khalsa called against the crackdown against uh, Amrit Pal and his associate. He did not get support from Akal Tak. That was the first blow from Amrit Pal. Amrit Pal was thinking that he will get the support from Akal Tak, the religious supreme body of uh, Sikhs, and then he'll be able to negotiate with Punjab police and government through Akal Tak. Akal Tak clarified that they are not going to uh, support Amrit Pal. Amrit Pal should surrender before Punjab police, and Amrit Pal will not be allowed to surrender uh, in the premises of Akal Tak in Amritsar or in uh, Bhatinda. And number two, all uh, communication channels of uh, Amrit Pal were blocked. His support was not there. His, his two masterminds, his uncle was arrested. His close friend Pappal Preet Singh uh, got arrested on 11th of April. His financer Dalji Singh Kalsi was arrested. Hmm. So he had no support. Uh, support. 
Right, Saurabh. So, Amritpal Singh being taken to Dribhugra now and uh, sort of to understand why he was a really high-risk individual for Punjab and for the country at large. So, could you tell us what were the cases that were lodged against Amritpal Singh? He had uh, several acts, including the Arms Act lodged against him and in fact, his uh, aides were also booked under the National Security Act. So, what were the several cases he was involved in? Uh, the major one being in February when he barged the Ajnala police station. So there are more than 10 cases against Amrit Pal. Number one, as you clearly uh, told, NSA, National Security Act for indulging in anti-India activities. Uh, number two, uh, attempt to murder. When he stormed uh, Ajnala police station, he attacked uh, uh, Punjab police officials. His supporters were also there. Uh, assaulting government servant on duty. Abduction because uh, he was later made co-conspirator in the case of uh, abduction uh, for which Lovepreet, his close associate, was arrested. Illegal keeping, illegal arms, uh, violation of several acts, rioting, more than 10 cases against him. Hmm. And the most importantly, uh, Punjab police and national agencies, uh, our uh, central agencies also have money trail that he was getting funds uh, from several, several pro-Khalistani groups uh, who are in Punjab, uh, who are in Pakistan, who are in Dubai, who are in Canada and Britain. Uh, so they have the money trail, money transferred from Pakistan to Dubai and then to Sweden. Uh, some entries were there directly to uh, Amrit Pal's account and through his uh, uh, close associates account. And, and apart from that, Amrit Pal, there were a lot of uh, information regarding Amrit Pal's uh, association and phone calls with uh, few, few pro-Khalistani leaders who are in uh, Canada, who are in Britain. So he used to talk with them and he used to take instructions from a uh, few uh, ISI uh, uh, officials also. So central agencies uh, have those recordings and have those details also. That is why this whole operation was coordinated. On 5th mm. of March, Bhagwant Man, CM of Punjab, had uh, come to, uh, he, he was in Delhi and he had met uh, Home Minister Amrit, Amit Shah and this was a coordinated uh, operation against Amrit Pal. And it was not option, operation against Amrit Pal as well as his whole network. That is when on 18th, when internet was suspended, uh, uh, Amrit Pal, more than 150 associates of Amrit Pal were arrested on that day. Hmm. Later, most of them uh, were warned and then they were allowed to leave because they did not know about uh, the, uh, the, the, the intentions of Amrit Pal regarding uh, Khalistan and anti-India. Later, they were warned and they were allowed to leave. Out of uh, these, uh, uh, these uh, who were arrested, uh, nine were slapped with uh, NSA, including Amrit Pal's uncle, Amrit Pal's financer Daljit Singh Kalsi, Amrit Pal's close friend advisor Pappal Preet Singh. They all are in Dibrugarh and they'll be co they were questioned by central agencies, Punjab police and now Amrit Pal will also be questioned. But you have to understand, uh, Amrit Pal, a normal Punjabi boy, went to Dubai in 2012. He was there, he, was, uh, he used to drive a truck, he, he loved uh, gymming, he had no beard, no turban. He was, uh, he liked uh, that Western culture, but he got influenced during farmer protest. Hmm. And then when he started writing on social media and he was contacted by several ISI uh, agents and uh, uh, pro Khalistani leaders and he was planted in India. In 2020, he landed in India during farmer protest, got really active. Uh, one thing which helped Amrit Pal was his oratory skills. So hmm. he uh, was a good orator. And in 2020, uh, they say that Amrit Pal uh, ne, uh, Amrit Chaka, he, he became proper Sikh preacher. And since then, he started following all uh, the rules uh, of a true Sikh. And he started giving lectures. And uh, he used to talk about to touch that sensitive nerve of uh, people of Punjab, the right. drug. So th from there, through religion, he used to talk about uh, these drugs. And the, he used to take these boys to his drug de-addiction center in his uh, native village, Jallupur Kheda. And then uh, he used to radicalize these boys. He used to come to his drug de-addiction center for de drug de-addiction. So he used to radicalize those uh, boys uh, to join him in uh, that uh, alleged uh, Khalistani movement. That's how he influenced. And he got biggest opportunity when hmm. Deep Siddhu passed away. Deep Siddhu formed Waris right. Punjab Day, a religious uh, and cultural and social uh, group of Punjab. And then he became the chief of Waris Punjab there and started uh, sermoning and uh, several other things. And then he came to the limelight through Ajanala uh, incident which happened right. on 24th. Priyanshi. Saurabh Shukla, thanks very much for joining us with those details.